Funny mix birdie. Three, two, one, and red. Come Sunday afternoon, a crowded leaderboard is constantly changing before an international audience. The dynamic scoring seen earlier in the day continues, and four contenders, Rory McIlroy, Justin Rose, Keegan Bradley, and Bubba Watson remain within striking distance after making the turn. We've got Bubba Watson, who had the lead coming into the day by three, but is now trailing by two. It was rough, you know, but um, the winds, the weather was very tough. And that's the kind of day he's having, folks. It's just everything is just off kilter. I knew if I could just hold it together for the back nine and, and make some putts or do something like that, I could. I might can still pull this thing out. And um, coming down the stretch, you know, nobody ran away with it. Well, he almost knocked that in. The mojo on the back nine is changed for Bubba. When he taps that in, should be tied for the lead. One group ahead, leader Justin Rose continues to parlay his impeccable iron play into birdie opportunities, ranking fifth in the field in proximity to the hole. There you go, he snuck it in the left corner. Justin Rose for birdie at 14. He's up by two. Anybody playing up and around the lead when the pins are tight, the wind's blowing, it probably plays two or three shots harder just due to the situations. While Rose adds to his lead, Keegan Bradley continues to give away shots. Once three under through seven holes and the tournament leader at 17 under, Bradley ultimately fades for the second straight week. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. wow, pressure. Right now you're just in shock. Bradley's final round 75, which includes a five over inward nine, drops him into a tie for eighth. Fellow major champion Rory McIlroy, still two behind Rose, also stumbles, failing to capitalize on 17. Big putt for McIlroy. It will move to his left. And he knows how much he needs one more birdie. But all that remains is the perilous par 4 18, the most difficult hole on the PGA Tour thus far in 2012. Playing to more than a half stroke over par, McElroy desperately needs to salvage his four. To have any kind of chance, you would think this has to drop from 13 and a half feet. This will be his 11th top five finish in his last 12 official starts. So that's the mark of a number one player. I was only going out there to, today to try and post a good finish, and you know, that's what it looks like I'll do. McElroy takes the clubhouse lead at 14 under, but it is Justin Rose who retains pole position on the leaderboard after surviving a scare on his third shot at 18. I was trying to make five pretty much the whole way down the hole, but it's, it's kind of funny when you try to make five how difficult that seems sometimes. Rose makes bogey and heads to the clubhouse with a one-shot lead over Bubba Watson. One man back in the thick Bermuda rough behind him has to birdie it to tie him. He's got to love his chances right now. Oh, I literally have no idea what the scores are. So oh, well, I, just, I, think, I, I don't know. I think I just, we're good enough. I kind of celebrated like I had won it because I heard the crowd and people from the grandstand shouting, oh, Bubba's hit in the water on 18. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, it's all good. I think he has to cut it. This is an amazing looking shot. That's unbelievable. Watson's got a birdie try to tie it. That's the shot of the day. Bubba Watson. Has just uh, put a little charge in Justin Rose. You kidding me? He's got a putt to tie me. You know, kind of thinking that was all a little bit premature, but I hit a marvelous shot into into 18. That's the kind of thing Bubba does. Even though I had only 10 minutes, I decided to go down to the range. Decided just to assume he's going to make the putt. For a birdie to tie Justin Rose. Justin Rose has won the WGC Cadillac Championship. Just escaping Bubba Watson. I gave myself chances, you know, I fought, I fought. 
just kept fighting and it's a stepping stone. It's going to hopefully just drive me forward and forward and, and keep having chances like this. It was a battle out there, but it's kind of what I liked. You know, I think I played into my hands today with the wind kicking up and being tough out there. Woo, it's nice. But it feels sweet when that moment arrives and you can relax and enjoy it. That's how you go down the stretch, baby. Is that what you do? Yes.